Hi everyone, I wanted to take a minute today to share with you a great suggestion that came out of a training we had in January regarding Google, Google Classroom. One of the big complaints I hear about Google Classroom from teachers is that they go through all the work of creating these courses and then at the end of the year, they're not able to duplicate all of the work that they've done. In our session in January, a teacher suggested creating a master class where you would uh, create all your lessons, activities, and files um, to share with your students. And let me show you how that looks. So let's go ahead and click on plus, create class. I'm gonna name this master reading class. You could have any name here. I'm just using the word master to remind me that this is my collection of resources for my readings classes. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And what's interesting about creating a master class is you will actually not assign any students to this class. So the students tab will remain empty. In addition, what's really a great idea about this master class is in the About tab, you could invite other teachers to collaborate with you on creating resources, activities, lessons, and posts for this master class. And so you might invite other teachers in your teaching team, in your content area, in your grade level, even teachers across the district who could be uh, resources um, and creating resources for everyone to share. All you need to do is type in an email address to invite that person to be a collaborating teacher on this master class. Once you've got your teachers all invited, you're gonna head back to the stream. And in the stream is where anybody who is a teacher in this course can add either announcements, assignments, questions, either discussion questions or polls to the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and start with an assignment. And it could be a, let's say a close reading assignment. And I would put in all of my instructions in this area. I'm gonna leave no due date because it's going to just remain in the stream. I would highly recommend that you start breaking this stream down by topic. I would say create a topic. Your topics could be based on quarters. They could be based on standards. And I'm just gonna, say standard one, even though that's probably not accurate, but they could be based on any organizational structure that you want. And you'll see why this topic is important as you continue on. In addition, you have the ability then to attach documents from your computer, Google Drive files, YouTube videos, or web links to this assignment. So I can go ahead to my drive, grab a document that I'm going to use for my assignment. I've pre-created that and I've added it here. Notice I've listed students can view the file. If that's all you want them to do is view it, you can leave it at this. If you actually want the students to get their own copy, you need to select make a copy for each student or if you want all the students to work on one file, you choose this middle one. Students can edit the file. I'm gonna choose make a copy for each student and I'm gonna go ahead and assign this out. And it's not really assigning it to anyone because there's no students. So it's just going to sit here in the stream. We can continue to do that by adding various um, types of assignments, questions, announcements, and posts, and getting um, them into the stream. Now, once they're in the stream, now the great part is I can go to any of my other Google Classrooms. And I can add a reuse a post. 
and I can say I would like to reuse a post from that master reading class. Here's the post that I just created. I can reuse that post and it's going to allow me to assign it to this classroom or any classroom that I have created. So I can assign it to any classrooms that it applies to. I can also choose any students I want to apply it to and I can make any changes. Maybe I need to change the topic. Maybe I need to add more resources. Once I assign this out, it's going to go from that master class to this new class. So I can see this being very useful for teachers in collaborating on digital activities and creating those activities in one space together and then using those master classes to push out great digital content to any of the other classrooms that they've established with their students. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask your ITT or ITTC. I hope this is a helpful video.